Hello and welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Reviews. It is chilly and it's going to get a lot chillier this week. We need to get a gas bottle sorted out for in here. So today, not a review of this thing, just went to Sainsbury's, uh, sorry, Asda, and did a, a good plunge of their beers. So many you've had seen before. So, Sea Fury from Sharps, 5% um, five, 5 beer. Don't think I've ever had it, so a nice new uh, beer to review. Next on the agenda, Rig Welter from Black Sheep Brewery. 5.7% um, strong dark Yorkshire Ale. Another one, had it before, never reviewed it, so looking forward to that. Next on the list from the extra special range at uh, Asda, Whitechapel Porter. Um, 5.2% made by, if you can tell, look at the bottle, Shepherd and Neem. So, next one, Guinness West Indies Porter. 6% nice strong porter. Don't think I've reviewed this. If I have, I'm going to kick myself, but don't think I have. Yep, looking forward to that as well. Next on the list, new one, total new one for me, from the Four Pure Brewing Company. Easy Peeler, a Citrus Session Pale Ale, which is, oh, which is 4%. So, next on the list, finally I get to review it. Probably one of the better lagers, certainly one of the best selling premium lagers, Peroni. One that holds its price extremely well. I should be giving it the uh, proper once over. Another one from Sharps, Wolf Walk. Uh, a red IPA, 4.8% uh, volume, so looking forward to that. Recently released this year, since the whatever happened to the Bombardier being brewed by Wells, uh, from the Charles Wells Company, Triple Opt IPA, 5.2%. Never had it before, so one to uh, save you. Now from the Purity Brewing Company, their gold. Uh, Yuba is the one everybody knows. This is their gold ale, 4.3%. Looking forward to a taste of that. And from the same company, um, Mad Goose, uh, premium pale ale, 4.2%. Very interesting. One I can't remember having, um, I'm sure I have, but Adnam's Broadside, 6.3% uh, volume. Um, at my workplace we're having a Christmas do soon and uh, the bloke who's uh, doing it, he's, uh, he's a beer drinker, proper beer drinker and he's got the gut as well to prove it um, and he's ordered a barrel of that and uh, so I'm looking, that is going to be a very close review just to see what it tastes like and from the Derby Brewing Company quintessential um five percent so looking forward to that here's a beer that doesn't need a lot of an introduction Caledonian Duchars had this at the airport very nice 4.4 percent pale ale so that's all the Audi uh as the you know I'll get there in the end all the Asda beers that I tried, uh, that I bought today, I went to Tesco's and uh, picked up this, a Belgian strong beer called Delirium. 8.5%. Ooh, that'll be good. And also this week, this is from Sainsbury's, and I don't normally go to Sainsbury's these days. Um, I hate what they did to me when I was suffering from mental health issues. Uh, Beer Moretti, their Sicilaria uh, beer, uh, like a craft version, 5.8%. I presume it's more of a lager than a beer. Uh, I do need to do some um, uh, study on that. But yeah. That's the beers uh, got this this weekend. Uh, did some gardening for somebody, so treated myself as you do. And uh, so, 
just keep tops up the uh, review uh, beers and uh, I've got quite a few to have a go at so all good right that's it for now um, time to get a review on see you soon